Hi guys, what I'm going to do today is teach you how to install and customize a WordPress blog. Now because of the amount of information I want to cover in this video, I'm going to uh, go quickly through some steps because I want you guys to get the full overview of what it takes to have complete control over the look and feel of your WordPress blog. So I'm not going to, you know, go into detailed steps on uploading WordPress WordPress files or anything like that. Uh, I'm going to give you a very quick overview, but I'm going to cover a lot of ground. So first of all, I want to apologize that you have to look at this guy while I'm talking. <laughs> This just happens to be the last blog post that I did before making this video, so unfortunately you have to look at him for a little while, but I promise you that the scenery will change. So uh, the first thing that you want to do when creating a WordPress blog is get your web host. Now, before I start, there are two ways to create a WordPress blog. You can actually host the blog for free on WordPress's servers at WordPress.com. I'm not going to talk about that because I think you should host it on your own domain because if you don't, you won't be able to add AdSense ads to your uh, blog and there will be some limitations there. So it's always better, everyone, to host your blog on your own domain with your own web host. Web hosting is too cheap these days not to. And if you can't afford it right now, then maybe you should just put this on hold until you can always always host your WordPress blog on your own domain and that the blog that you're looking at now is my blog that's actually hosted on my domain to create a website .com. it sits in a folder called blog so the address of my blog is blog dot to create a website .com. so with that being said let's uh, I'm gonna take you through what you need to set up a WordPress blog on your own domain first of all you can use almost any Linux, Windows, regular hosting plan. Not a plan like, uh, like a, don't use Website Tonight, don't use Site Builder, don't use any of those template building plans for a WordPress blog. You need a regular web host, a Linux, you know, three, five dollar a month web host. So, I'm recommending Website Palace because that's my reseller store and I never try to hide the fact that I'm affiliated with them so if you're looking for a host there's some cheap hosting I don't like the word cheap that sounds like it's low quality there's some affordable plans starting at $3.99 per month at websitepalace.com if you already have a host in mind feel free to go ahead and use those just make sure that your host has something called cPanel or something the equivalent of cPanel and cPanel just basically allows you to install applications at the click of a button so if you want to install a WordPress blog or a forum or a chat room rather than having to manually go download the scripts upload the scripts and all that the uh, application will allow you to just install these things with the click of a button so here I am logged into my website palace account let's say I want to install a word a WordPress blog on this domain website babble.com all I would do is click the Your Applications tab that you see here in the middle of the screen. And it's taking a little while. Okay, so that's going to bring you to a page that has different scripts that you can install. And with Website Palace, as you can see, there are a ton of different scripts in a lot of different categories. So if you want a form, you would click this, and there's different message board scripts you can choose from. Social networking site, if you want a social networking site, there are some scripts you can choose from there. Um, so we're going to go over to the blog category. So you click that and here are the different blog platforms that Website Palace offers. Well in this video of course we're going to use WordPress. So if you want to install a WordPress blog on your domain name at Website Palace you just click the WordPress button or link and in just a few seconds, I don't know why my internet is crawling today, sorry for the delay, it's like I'm on dial up here. <laughs> it's going to take you to a page that basically tells you about WordPress and then there's a button that's kind of cut off you can't see the whole thing but if you click install now it's going to install all of the WordPress files and software on your domain just like that if you if you had a host that did not have cPanel or something like this you would have to manually go to WordPress's site download all the files then learn how to use an FTP program and upload them 
to your web host but if you have a host like this all you do is go to your applications page and boom your WordPress blog is installed on your domain so after that's done your um, files will all be in place and you're ready to actually go to your WordPress admin panel and this is where you can start customizing the look and feel of your site but before I do that let me just say something about FTP even if you install WordPress this way I would still highly recommend you become familiar with the FTP process and FTP is just the process of transferring files from your computer to your web server the reason being is because WordPress has a lot of cool little plugins and add-ons that you can install to um, let your make your blog do different things so uh, if you want to add a plugin to your blog you have to upload the files from your computer to your web host so if you don't know anything about FTP and give yourself a quick and dirty tutorial on how to use an FTP program in fact I have some some tutorials or actually I have a tutorial on how to use an FTP program on my other YouTube channel to create a website now don't ask why I don't have all of my videos under one channel it's a long story but understand I use the to create a website channel for uh, programming tutorials more actually like this the only reason I'm putting this tutorial on my Lisa 3876 channel is because I have many more subscribers to this channel and I want to let you guys know that I have another channel that I use for programming tutorials like how to add meta tags how to add includes to your site all of that is on the to create a website channel so from now on tutorials like this are going to appear on my to create a website channel so make sure you go to youtube.com slash to create a website when you're done with this and subscribe to that channel as well so that way you're covered I'll save this channel that you're watching now for videos on you know marketing promotion kind of the things that you're used to seeing on this channel so having said that make sure you go to that other channel and read up on my FTP tutorial so you can learn and understand how to use an FTP program it's really easy guys and it, it's not very difficult to learn at all okay now that I've said that once you've installed your WordPress software on your domain now you can go to your admin panel so I'm gonna take you actually to my admin panel and this is where all the magic happens for your WordPress blog this is where you go to write new posts this is where you go to change your design this is where you go to edit any type of um, visual things for your blog so let's say you want to um, change the the template you don't like the theme for your WordPress blog because I think when you install it it gives you like the standard boring WordPress WordPress theme say you want a new design you would go to your ad admin panel click design and you might say what is the address of my admin panel how do I get to it for most hosts it's usually something like yourdomain.com slash WP slash admin slash um, index.php I think I said that right yeah it's yeah it's yourdomain.com slash WP slash admin slash index.php and I'll put that on the screen um, unless now if you s installed your blog in a subdomain or another folder then that's gonna change a little bit you have to include the name of the folder in the address but if you installed WordPress like on your root server then that's the address you need to use to get to your admin panel so once you're there and you want to change your theme you can go to the design tab and you can see right here it's telling me what my current theme is and you can't see it because of the, the size of the screen but if you go down to the bottom of this page there is a, a title that says get more themes and it'll take you to the WordPress theme directory and you'll get to choose from hundreds of different themes for your WordPress blog I think this one here is the default and who wants this boring default theme you want something snazzy you want something you know fun and different than a lot of the other blogs so go to the WordPress theme directory and find a theme that you like and that is why it's important for you to learn about FTP because remember I talked about that before if you find a theme that you like you're going to have to physically upload those files to your WordPress folder on your web host so that's why you need to understand a little bit about FTP because because if you want to change your theme you'll need to know how to do that so you can change the look of your entire design your theme so once you've done that you might say okay this is great 
I've got my blog, I've got my theme, but I don't like some of the colors of my blog. How do I change, you know, the header? How do I change? How do I add my own logo? I'll be honest. You really want to have access to some type of graphic program if you want to change the colors of your theme because most WordPress themes are created with a lot of images. For example, this gold bar that you see up here, it wasn't originally this color. And I know to you it probably looks like it's just a background color. Actually, it's an image that's making this bar. So if you right click, I'm using Firefox, and choose View Image, image Source, or view image you see this gold line here that skinny gold line is actually making this bar the code is just telling it to repeat that across my blog horizontally so when I originally got this theme I believe it was something like blue or orange but I wanted my blog to look a lot like my site to create a website so I opened up Photoshop and I took the original oh, opened up the wrong thing sorry guys I took the original line and colored it this orange color so it looks like the same colors that I use on to create a website. So having access to a graphics program will come in handy if you're trying to change some of the things. Some some of the colors will actually just be HTML, you know, hex colors and you can just change them that way, but a lot of the designs for these themes are images. So you definitely want to have access to some type of image editor like Photoshop or PaintShop Pro. Now, in terms of the layout of your blog, like the width of your content area, um, you know, say you want to change your logo, you really have to go back to, I'm in my admin panel again, going to the design area, and then click Theme Editor. When you click Theme Editor, this is going to take you to the style sheet of your blog. See, it says style.css. This is a page that tells your blog how to display and if you're not familiar with CSS you might look at this and say what in the world is all this code because it goes on for days everybody I'll tell you if you really want to use WordPress and you want to customize your blog take a crash course in CSS go to w3schools.com pick up the basics and learn a little bit about CSS so you can make the changes because the cool thing about CSS is it governs your entire blog so once you make a change to something like say you don't like the color of your links you can go down here to where it says general links and see this code right here this hex color that's the color of my links so if I wanted to change the this color to black I would just change this hex color so um, one thing I will say about most of the WordPress themes is that the developers do a good job of putting comments here so it kinda helps you understand what areas you need to go to if you want to change certain features. For example, if you're familiar with HTML, a lot of you probably have heard of the header or the H1 or H2 tags. So if you want to change the style of your H2 tags or H1 tags, you look for that in the code and this section here governs how my H2 color, H2, excuse me, tag look. See, this is my H2 tag here, this brown color. So in my style sheet, you come down here, you see H2, this color is what's making that brown. That hex color right there is telling the browser to display it in that brown color. So learning a little bit about HTML and CSS is going to take you far if you want to start customizing your blog. If you're afraid to tackle this stuff, then maybe you shouldn't even uh, either don't use WordPress or don't try to customize your blog because if you really want to change things up you're gonna to have to learn a little bit about CSS HTML because there's nothing like having a customized blog that has your style that has your feel you don't want your blog to look like everybody else's so even when you do find a theme that you like in the WordPress directory it's always a good idea to learn how to customize it yourself so anytime you're in this theme editor and you can't really see it now you may be able to see a little bit of it here but over here are all the template files so let's say you want to change the look of your footer you click the footer link and that brings up the code for your footer and so when you make changes here the footer on your blog is updated on every page so updating and customizing your WordPress blog all takes place in the theme editor section 
of the admin panel okay so that's how you do it so this is a real quick and dirty overview of how to install and update your WordPress blog I know it may seem a little bit overwhelming at first when I'm going through all this at lightning speed but just understand if you get the right web host and if you just educate yourself a little bit about FTPing and what it means to transfer files from your computer to your web host remember check my other YouTube channel and look for that tutorial if you just do those two things and even you know maybe get a, a graphics program and learn a little bit about a, a CS, CSS excuse me if you do those three things it'll really take you far and guys just do what I do just get in there and learn I have no formal training on CSS programming I don't have a degree in any of this stuff I learned a lot of what I've done here by simply looking at other sites looking at other templates reading the templates that are provided with these free themes that WordPress provides for example sorry I went to the wrong thing if you go to the theme editor like I said I learned a lot about CSS by just going through this code and saying oh header okay so this must control how my header looks and I started playing with different values now a lot of people will say that's not the best way to learn go to a site like w3schools.com learn the fundamentals and then it'll be easier to troubleshoot and do your own custom things but me I tend to learn better by looking at the code after it's already done and seeing how certain codes affect the page that's how I learn that's what's worked best for me you have to find what works best for you but if you're going to customize your WordPress blog you're definitely going to have to familiarize yourself with CSS so I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope it's been helpful and good luck with your WordPress blog and I'll see you guys later bye bye